Okay, so I have here what is presumably another ukulele kit. This ukulele, brand name Strong Wind, uh, I bought completely assembled everything straight out of the box. All you had to do was tune it. This ukulele I built myself. The nut is not high enough, so the first fret acts as the nut, but if you use a capo, you can play it fine. And I, uh, uh, GCEA, I, uh, I snapped the A string by mistake while I was trying to tune it. And uh, incidentally, the G string, which is the first string uh, on a standard tuned ukulele, uh, tends to like to be tuned to A. So the G string, I might have mixed up with the A string. There weren't any instructions. I think I did an okay job. People were pleased. So um, this is what I'm going to open up here. Um, I'm using this wine opener because um, I don't know why. I like to do it. I like to use this little uh, sharpened piece. And so we open it. And here we are. This is looking good. It looks like the packaging is nice and solid, which means that uh, it's high quality, hopefully. You can tell a high quality item if it has high quality packaging, but that's not a golden rule. That's not a rule of thumb. There are exceptions, of course, because if it was that easy to convince someone that they're uh, their stock was valuable by making high quality packaging. Oh, but that does look beautiful. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so. Um, here we go. Take this out. Here's the neck. And here are the tools. The box is now empty. And looks like we're going to be working with a larger ukulele this time. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Just look at that. It doesn't need to be painted as far as I can say. Um, so as you can see, it's larger than the other ukulele. The blue and the green ukulele, both the same size larger than them. Uh, so let's put these ukuleles aside. All right. So let's remove the neck. There's something else in here. Fretboard. Oh, geez. One of the frets is loose. Oh, there. Pop it. All I had to do was pop it back in. Uh, so let's pop them all back in if any of them are loose. It seems fine. Okay. And, okay, so problems here. So that's good. That's what it's going to look like. Um, now the problem here is there's the neck and there's there. There's nothing special to attach them with, which I don't know how I'm going to get past that. I guess if I glue them, glue them sitting down like that, 
and then I would tape it. Yeah, that's what I would do. Um, so we have our base, our neck, and our fretboard. And open this up. I've gotten a feeling about this. Let's bring this closer. Oh good, it does come in a bag. So what do we get in this bag? Here's our bag. There we go. Okay, so what these are, this looks like this, that, and this one are so I can drill and attach a strap. This is the bridge. That's the bridge right there. We have our nut. Our strings. And these will be our machine heads. These look very high quality. This, all of this looks like a very high quality item. Uh, and then some screws and, and that's about it.